okay so hey everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new then welcome today's video is gonna be for beginners um, when it comes to the wigs so my first do slash don't is do wash them often um I know with starter locks a lot of people feel like that you shouldn't wash your hair but I honestly in my own opinion feel like you should because why not <laughs> I mean you don't want your hair to be dry or like brittle or anything like that during your locking process you want it to go ahead and be very moisturized you want to take care of it so that it'll grow into a healthy beautiful lock so that's just my take on that when it comes to like starter locks and stuff like that so I don't know just do your research um some people say it works for them like not washing but i really don't see any benefits to not washing your hair needs moisture so please make sure you wash your hair and since we're on hair washing the don't is don't air dry i don't care how harmful people try to make it seem well when it comes to thick locks in terms of wicks like wicks or just real thick locks you really need to blow dry it you'll do more harm by air drying because of mold and stuff like that you'll do more damage air drying than you will blow drying so please like i don't know find a way like <laughs> find a way because if you sit there and let it air dry and let all that water moisture sit in your hair it will begin to smell and i mean that's gonna cause mold and bacteria to grow in your hair and it's gonna it's gonna stink and that's what happened with my last set so just take my word for it or you could find out for yourself <laughs> but i really feel like you should blow dry because it's really no reason not to i mean you you'll do more harm than you will good so that's my take on that and for another do or sorry oh i did it all wrong so I did do's and don'ts, so it's kind of like, I did do's and don'ts and pros and cons, so it's kind of like all over the place, so excuse me. But anyway, <laughs> a pro for the wigs is it's low maintenance in a sense, okay? So it's low maintenance because, you know, once it's done and stuff, you really don't have to do much. Like, you can just, like, wake up and do what you do. I just leave it. Um, I try to leave out as much new growth as I can because that's just how I like it. But yeah. And then the con is it takes longer to dry. So that goes back to the don't that I had said earlier. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking of like wicks or thick locks. If you have time and patience, please blow dry. Like I washed my hair earlier and I blow dried it. And it took me almost like an hour and a half just to freaking dry it <laughs> and like as my hair is getting longer i'm nine months now so as my hair gets longer it's like taking even longer to dry if you're not a person who doesn't mind sitting and actually taking the time to make sure every lock is dry then i wouldn't recommend getting thick locks or wicks because you'll end up having mildew and stuff like that if you're lazy and don't want to do that because that's what i did with my first set so that's why i'm speaking like that um, as far as experience in my perspective, so just trying to put that out there. So my second do When when it comes to do's and don't was proper proper <laughs> Properly moisturize your hair, please once you Wash your hair and do you know your regular wash day routine and stuff like that Please make sure you're using a very good oil that's gonna help you lock in all that moisture okay so I'm gonna take this time <laughs> I'm gonna take this time to show you what I've been using which I really love this is a water flower it's lemon drop strengthening oil that I created um, and I feel really good about this so yeah um, it has flaxseed, black castor oil, EVOO, hemp seed, um, some rice protein, vitamin E, tea tree, and lemongrass in here. So this is a really good oil. Um, when I initially made this, I thought it was good for putting on dry hair, but I just recently figured out, <laughs> the jazz, <laughs> 
that you need to um put this on after you wash your hair okay and i just tried it for myself and it it did the damn thing that's all i gotta say like it did the damn thing so when you're using if you're using an oil i would preferably like you to try mine <laughs> but if whatever oil you decide to use I would say use it after you wash your hair, condition, and all that, and put it on damp hair, because that's what I did. I washed, I conditioned, and then I put it on, I let, you know, I got the towel to kind of get most of the moisture out, and then um, I put some oil, I put oil, you know, in my scalp, and on, I think it's called the shaft, <laughs> the shafts of my, of my locks. I put it on my locks and stuff like that. And that's, that's when I usually take the time to separate my parts since the hair is wet. I go ahead and it's easier for me, but I go ahead and I um, separate and I put the oil on my fingers, make sure it's on my scalp, massage it all good, and then I'll blow dry and stuff like that. So yeah, and my hair looks really, really good. So I think y'all should really try it. It has great benefits. Like it adds shine, it keeps the moisture in. Look at that. I'm going to show y'all my hair a little bit closer when we get closer to the end. So my second don't is don't overwork your wigs. Like don't crochet all the time. And I just, this is my opinion. You don't have to listen. Like this is just my opinion. <laughs> this is my perspective. So I feel like you shouldn't do it all the time because it could break the hair. Like you're using that needle and you're pulling your hair like that can kind of cause breakage. So that's just my little spill on that. My second pro is the style is unique. So to every person, the wigs are gonna look different. You're gonna rock them different. Um, it's gonna look different. And that goes with like regular locks, traditional locks or thick locks or wigs, sister locks, whatever you have. Like the style is gonna be unique to you and you know just own that shit like rock it like do your thing <laughs> that's what i like about my wigs like this y'all <laughs> i really love this set of my locks like this has been the funnest lock journey that i've ever had like i'm talking from beginning to where we are now like every stage has been amazing and i've been just having fun with it like you see i put little jewels in my hair and like i said you'll see you'll see when i show you my hair on a close up so hold on Hold on. <laughs> you just make it your own thing. You do your own thing. Let your hair do what it do. Like, have fun with it. I didn't do that with my first set, and I kind of like, I mean, I don't regret anything, but um, my first set, I wish I would have documented it more, I would say. But, yeah, I didn't really care for the, my beginning stage um, with the first set. I would wear, like, head wraps and stuff like that, keep my hair out of the way. I really didn't know what I was doing with my first set. But, yeah, the second con is... Uh, you'll have a lot of frizz slash new growth. So that's what I mean with the crochet or not doing it often because you'll have a lot of new growth really fast. And if you're washing your hair often and um, if you're washing your hair often and oiling it, of course your hair is going to start getting stimulated and it's going to start growing really, really fast. Like that's what this oil does. It aids in new hair growth. It aids in better circulation in the scalp because when you're massaging it in there, you're getting that blood flow going and then you're feeding you're feeding your hair the nutrients and the vitamins that it needs and this has a lot of good things in it i want to tell y'all also how you can get this um so yeah that's really all that i had for beginners um if i think of some more stuff i'll just make a part two or something like that you can get this oil you can get this oil on my instagram page i made a business page for this specifically um it's a water flower I-T-S-W-A-T-E-R-F-L-O-W-E-R. -E -E it's a water flower. <laughs> and these are my lemon giraffes. I work really hard on this, so let me show you a little bit. And it literally has a yellow tint to it. Okay. And if you order this, please shake before each use. Um, please shake it because the stuff settles. Oh, here, let me put it on this side. The oil settles and separates and stuff like that because it's all natural. But yeah, I don't know if y'all can really see the shine that it left. So yeah, it's really good. It's really good. And shoot, you can put it on your body too if you like because this is 
all natural oil. And it smells amazing. It smells like lemons. It smells like lemons. Hence the name, Lemon Drops. So yeah, um, it's only $20. And it's free shipping right now as a thank you to those who are willing to believe in my product and try my product for the very first time. So I'm giving free shipping because of that. After the first batch, I'm not sure. I might go ahead and start charging for shipping because that'll help me with more, like with better packaging and stuff like that. So right now, you know, I'm just bringing people along my journey to own, like to this business. This is all new to me. Um, I've sold for others and did things for other people business but this is like my actual first time starting my very own business so i'm really excited about that and i would really appreciate if you just try my oil one good time and like see what it does for your hair so yeah um that's it on that i'm gonna go ahead and get into this hair like i really want y'all to see okay so you yeah. like look at it there's a no denying it Y'all see that shine? It helps with those who have dandruff, dry, brittle hair. It's gonna help strengthen your hair. That's why it's called a strengthening oil. Look at that. It adds volume. Like my hair was not doing all this before. I mean, it was shorter, but literally y'all like my hair feels light it's so bouncy it has movement flexibility that's another thing that it does it gives you flexibility strength thickness volume shine scalp relief <laughs> if you have a very itchy scalp this will help because it does lock in that moisture So make sure when you're using this, that you're using this on damp hair, damp, wet, whatever, however you like it. As long as your hair has some kind of water, some kind of wetness to it, that's what it needs. And you'll see the little bird. So freaking cute. So yeah, that's really all that I have for today. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I wasn't really sure like what to do because I've been gone for so long. So it was just so many things that I could have came back with, you know what I mean? But um, that's what I came up with and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for those who have watched it this long. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you would like to purchase a bottle of the strengthening oil is at it's a water flower it's only twenty dollars right now free shipping once i'm done with this first batch i probably will begin to start uh charging for shipping so just please try to take advantage of this deal that i have going on and i will really appreciate you all your support okay <laughs> and i always appreciate those who watch through my whole video and um and just always come back every time I post and show love and stuff like that. And follow me on Instagram. My Instagram, my personal page is Nadiza. The same name that it is um, for this page. K-N-O-T-T-Y-Z-A-H. On that page, I share a little more personal stuff. Not really, but a little, bo a little bit more. You'll get a little bit more in detail about me like that. Or like an idea, I guess. <laughs> And I post my music up there as well, which I'm working on a project. So y'all stay tuned. Give y'all one more good look. Let's see. Before I peel out. And if you like my hair and my style, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you like my hair and my swag. Let me turn around. Yes, can you see a water flower, baby? Y'all stay beautiful and y'all stay blessed. All right, peace. <laughs>